Hey guys, for this video I will be coloring my own creature that I created called Web Dragon, aka Blue Fox. You'll notice that I changed my name recently to Maid X Web Dragon because um, I wanted to do something like this with the cute dragon as a mascot. So yeah, so if you're new to my channel and you haven't seen or you're or, or you just watch my channel and you haven't seen my outlining video for this one you can go check it out it will be in my drawings playlist and also don't forget to like and subscribe and also to share this video so that way we can grow the audience and also um, if you're new to my channel, you can check down in the description box below. There will be all my social media accounts so that way you get updates constantly for all my artwork because sometimes I don't make videos of some of my progress work. So yeah, so let's color him. Also, if you want a full description of him, make sure you go and check out that previous video as I, as I said because I explained everything about Web Dragon aka Blue Fox. So yeah, so this creature has two names. Yeah, so let's get started. I'm going to use my chameleon markers. Um, it's hard to see so I'll just read it out. Um, going to be using BL2 Baby Blue. So I'm going to just try to figure out what I want to color. So first I'm going to color in the ears. Um, just a brief explanation if you don't want to see the other video. Web Dragon, aka Blue Fox, is basically a hybrid between a robotic dragon and a fox, like it says in, like it says in the name, in the two names. So yeah. So now I'm coloring in the entire head, trying to think of what spots should I keep white, or if I should keep any white spots. Hmm. Okay, and I'm going to color one tail this color as well. And also parts of the fluff that I have right here. Only parts of it, partially. And also this back leg. Sorry if it sounds like I'm trying to think of what colors I want to color it. Basically I am on the spot. So yeah. I haven't really thought about the process of coloring Web Dragon that much, but I think it will be simple. Okay, next I'm going to use BL4, which is Cornflower Blue. Sorry, I'm not going to show the markers, just because they're, um, it makes the camera focus on it and then I have to refocus it onto the drawing and sometimes it has a hard time focusing again and again. So yeah, so I'm going to use the cornflower blue to kind of shade bits and pieces of the baby blue that I did, that I used for a bit. So anywhere that's being overlapped by any other type of 
part of the body. And on the tail as well. Okay, so that's basically it for that part. And I'm still going to use the same marker, Cornflower Blue, as I said before. And I'm just going to color in other parts of the fur. And basically, this will be like a different color that I'm using. And also, I'm going to color in this part, this foot as well, this leg, sorry. I don't know why I said foot. It's basically the leg and the foot. And, yeah. Hmm. And also, I'm going to color in these feathers for this part. Uh, for this tail. That's basically it for the cornflower blue. I'm changing to BL7 indigo, indigo, and basically I'm going to be shading whatever parts that I just colored in with the cornflower blue as well, so that way it looks like the darker parts are shaded as well. And now I'm shading on the tail. And now I'm also going to color in the inner ear part. So like this, and now also the other ear as well. And for mm, this one, I'm also going to color in these feathers on this tail. And because it is called Blue Fox, that's why I, when, one of its names is called Blue Fox. That is why there's so much blue on this fox dragon creature. So if you're wondering why there's so much blue and shades of blue that I'm using right now, that's why. So I think I'm done with the blue in general because that's a lot of blue that I did. Now I'm going to add the mechanical parts and give them 
And now I'm going to start with the mechanical parts and color them in. So I'm going to use Neutral Gray 4, which is NG4, and I'm going to start coloring in certain spots. So I'm coloring in one piece of the neck as it is, and I'm going to leave a little bit of a white gap, kind of like it's reflection-y, and it's like showing a bit of a reflection. And I'm going to start with this leg as well, color in some parts only. also part of the paw and now for this one I'm gonna color in part of the leg too okay and this part And also this tail. So this tail is kind of going to be like a mechanical tail, like a robotic tail. And the other one is just a regular natural tail. And that's it for neutral gray four. And now I'm going to switch to a darker color, which is CG5 cool gray five. And I'm going to shade a little bit of anything that I have colored in so far with neutral gray four. So neutral gray five will be used for some shading. Just going around seeing which parts have been overlapped by other parts. So there, and now I'm going to color in any other part that I see can be this color. So I'm coloring in another part of the neck. Kind of colored outside the line a little. It's hard to see. No focus camera. But yeah, there's a mistake. Okay, that's it for neutral gray five, cool gray five, sorry, not neutral gray five. And now I'm going to use a pretty dark gray. It's called CJ9 and it's CG9, not J. Um, cool gray nine and I'm going to use it um, for some parts too. I'm just gonna first shade in some parts that I just colored previously. Mm, yeah. Now I can color in whatever I want to. This is like one of the darkest grays that I have, so kind of may look black on camera.
And then I'm going to color in parts of the arm, the leg. Sorry, I keep calling it arm. Well, when I was outlining, <coughs> I kept saying arm too, I think. So, just going to go over some parts. I'm going to leave some parts white. To be honest, I think it looks good white too. And this part will be this color too. Okay, and he's almost done. I just need to color in his eyes. I don't know why I'm going so slowly on coloring him, to be honest. I think I'm going to use turquoise. So I'm first going to lose, use Lagoon, which is BG1. And I'm just going to color in most of the eye part. And... BG3, which is turquoise. Just give it a little highlight with that. Yeah. And I am finished. So let me give you guys an overview. Oh my. Always falls every video now. <laughs> so yeah, so here it is. Um, sorry it took so long to color. I don't know why I was like really slow. I was like pausing which color should be what part and I was like taking my time and trying to figure it out. So yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and don't forget to click the notification bell button which which will be next to the subscription button once you subscribe. And also don't forget to share this with your friends and you can check out more drawings that I have done before this for on my um, drawings playlist. And also check down in the description box below. All my social media accounts are there so you can go and like and follow those. So that way you guys get notified constantly about like what I'm doing and, my, and more of my process works for different drawings so yeah so hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to check down below also i have my patreon account you can help support my art videos as well hope you guys enjoyed bye